All right, how's it going, beautiful people of Instagram? This is Jose Trujillo, uh, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from the art studio with a new painting today. I'm gonna do a, a landscape painting, sort of a minimalist type of work, like the work I like to do. Some of it has uh, a lot of texture. Some of it is very textureless, I guess, very flat. Um, but it's all exciting. It's all, uh, it's all painting, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go, let's do this. Bam, 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 bam. Let's do it. Let's kill it. So, um, I, have, I have a Facebook uh, fan page, right? Uh, it's Jose Trujillo Art. Something like that, Jose Trujillo Art. How's it going, Manuel? <laughs> and, uh, and I like to engage with the with the people there on, on Facebook, you know. And I, I've noticed that some some that some of the people that that, that like my page um, are, are I think they're they're academics, very intellectual people. Uh, I mean, not to say that that the rest of the people are not intelligent, yeah. But but some of them just you know you I, I could tell that they're academics. They're very bright, very eloquent. And I asked a question about what do you guys think about um, uh, some artists that go abstract, right? That started out academically trained or classically trained and then and then they went abstract. What, what do you make of it, you know? Because we all have our, our ideas about it, right? Our, we get our, yeah, you know, we have our ideas about why that happens, how is it, and some people say, you know, it's trend, and of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But uh, one person in particular always blows me away. She, uh, I think she just always nails it, you know. And she described in a very eloquent way. I could, I couldn't, I couldn't possibly repeat it, but she said, uh, "Art, uh, academically trained art." I'm going to say it in a nutshell. I know I'm going to butcher what she said, but sorry about that, guys. She said, uh, academically, uh, you know, trained art is literature. It's, you can compare it to literature. Yeah. And abstract art is poetry. But she said it in such a way that, you know, I could not give it justice. <laughs> I thought it was so amazing because I never heard people refer to it that way. I heard people refer to art being poetry or, you know, free soul, spirit, blah, 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 blah. But I, I've never heard anyone make that connection of academic, uh, you know, very literal art, of course, being the literature, right? Very little art, like uh, representational art. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day. We're gonna we're gonna make the best of today. <laughs> I'm so glad. Let's make the best of it. I'm gonna Bob Ross this. It's all gonna be it's all gonna be uh, happy little trees and good feelings. So I thought I thought it was amazing. You know the connection she made with academic painting I thought it was like spot on you know it's more it's more literature and not to say there's anything anything wrong with it, it's just different you know abstract art is a bit more compared to poetry I was like man I wish I would come up with that I wish I would have said that I would have made a meme about it or you know how I like I like to make a I like to quote myself. I think I'm like the only artist that quotes himself. <laughs> Seriously, if you guys check out my, my Facebook page, like I, I have personal quotes that I said. I, I you know no one you know a famous artist someone writes them for them I guess when they die. But I'm like I'm not gonna wait for that. I'm gonna write my own quotes. So so I went on a on a on, on rants, you know, just writing my own quotes. I'm like, well what am I gonna what do I think about this? And then I'll write about it. Just a little quote, you know. I talk about time. I talk about color. 
I call painting a form of prayer. I'm not, I'm not religious, but if I was, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so awesome, buddy. <laughs> You're doing a marathon on my videos. I love that. <laughs> it's like I'm bitch watching your videos. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How's it going, uh, Yami? I hope I hope I'm pronouncing your your name correctly. Yeah, the videos are awesome. If 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 I were to uh, to binge watch something, it'd be my videos and. Uh, uh, What's the, what's another show that? What's another show that? Um, I never I never finished watching Mad Men. I thought it was pretty cool. My my wife got me into it. I like that uh, Don Draper character, but I don't I don't really watch TV. I don't, I'm uh, it's not it's not that I'm above it. Okay, I'm not. I just I'm like, should I watch TV or paint? Watch TV or paint? Go paint something. And I just want to go paint. You did watch Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Things. That is true. You watched it with us. How many, how many episodes was that? It was only eight. Eight episodes? Yeah. yeah, I watched it before I went to sleep. It's true. I watched Stranger Things. That is one hell of a show. I love that show. I haven't seen Prison Break. Is it good? <laughs> uh, Donna, uh, Donna Mad Interiors. I, I hope I, I said it correctly. I will show my, my awesome face. Hello. Hello once again. <laughs> I just, I just think that you guys would rather much, uh, Watch the painting than my my crazy faces. Wentworth. I'm gonna try Wentworth too. Is it good? What is it about? Like I don't know any of these shows. I I I promise I I uh, have no idea about pop culture. My my wife is always talking to me about pop culture. She's like, she's uh she fills me in with all the pop culture because I I uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a I'm a young immigrant. I came from Mexico and and we worked, <laughs> so so we we didn't watch a lot of TV. I think I think that's what it is. <laughs> when well, we came here, we were like you're going to work and school and. And you're not gonna watch TV. No, I wa I watch TV. It was just uh, very minimal. Saturday morning cartoons, I think. Wentworth. Wentworth is a female prison series. Is it like Break? No, not Breaking Bad. What is it? Orange is the New Black, the one you were telling me, Annie. Well, we gotta watch Wentworth. So check it out, guys. I'm I'm really just uh, laying color here because one of the things that I really like. Um, about this sort of impostoy type of work. I don't know if you guys seen, um, I've had a chance to see, uh, what's this cat's name? What's his, uh, Van Gogh used to, used to, he, he loved his paintings. Uh, I wanna say is Millet. I wanna say it's Millet. Uh, I had a chance to see some of, uh, work not just not just not just that not just his work but some of the work from that time the some, some of the i think they were realists romantics they were kind of dancing between realism and romanticism and i really like how how uh, how much they played around with you know just shading stuff 
I, I do a lot of paintings. Uh, uh, sometimes I do nothing. Uh, Donna, Donna is asking how many paintings you do a day. Sometimes I do nothing. Sometimes I do a lot. I just, I, I'll paint for 16 hours straight. And, you know, but sometimes I'm just like, I'm lazy today. That's the kind of stuff I'm working on. <laughs> I'm not being so lazy because I really, uh, I really believe that, that I can do more. I, I really think it's a, it's a little muscle, you know? There was a point where making, doing one painting was like, oh man, I'm so accomplished, you know? I, I, I still remember that. And I mean, of course, it, it depends how you paint, right? If you're extremely hyper-realistic and paint, and paint large, uh, large scale or large formats or whatever, it's going to take, of course, more than this little eight by tens. But again, if you paint hyper-realistic, once again, and you paint this little one, it's kind of like a, if you do the whole Vermeer thing where you paint a very realistic, then it's going to take you, you know, quite some time. So it just depends really on what your gig is. I used to do uh, portraits. That, that's how I kind of started um, full-time, painting full-time. I, I started painting portraits. And I, was, I realized that I was able to do them quite, quite quick, you know. And I did some tricks too. I mean, come on. No camera obscura, but some tricks depending on, you know, very complicated ones with, you know, two, three people standing there. I had my tricks. I love that, Mari. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Donna asks, can you paint a scene from a photo like of a home place. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I do that a lot, actually. Uh, I work with interior designers and, and uh, small, uh, small and medium-sized uh, galleries, some mom-and-pop galleries. That sometimes they have commissions, you know. In the art world, they call them commissions. <laughs> it's just custom work, yeah. Absolutely. Let me know how I can help and just DM me and, and give you some pricing. Get... Get something rolling. I just did a couple of uh, large pieces, large scale pieces for a uh, for a home in in Scottsdale, Arizona. I just I love doing those because uh, the walls in the Southwest are so large that a lot of a lot of the, the collectors and the clients want large stuff, you know. And and I love painting large stuff too, like this stuff that like you guys see me here. I love doing this, of course. But um, I'm, I, I consider myself a bit of an action painter, although I, I, I mean, I don't do anything like, like Pollock, of course, right? Like action, like throwing paint around. But in a way I do, I mean, look at it, you know? I'm like, so I, I like the large scale paintings where I can just go nuts and, and, and throw paint. Uh, I have no idea how I got into this. Uh, my mom, both my mom and my dad were ranchers in Mexico. My dad was a charro. It's a traditional cowboy from Mexico. And, and uh, I don't know, they seem to... I, I think maybe it was a, a lot of the visits uh, to, to cathedrals, looking at, uh, at the glass, the stained glass on the work. Uh, where I'm from in Guadalajara, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of people work with glass and there's a lot of uh, glass I guess artists and artisans and that that had a little influence or a big one on me there's a book called daily painting by uh, that advocates painting smaller daily paintings for faster improvement similar to your strategy I think oh yeah 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 I've seen that I've seen that book I love I love her stuff I think it's her and her husband I love what they're doing they're doing they have, uh, it's a it's a really great approach. I think I think uh, uh, a lot of artists are are doing that now. They they do a uh, one or or maybe tops two paintings. Uh, I'm 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 a little bit uh, more more local. <laughs> one or two paintings won't cut it for me. I, I have to do I have to do uh, I have to do a lot. <laughs> There's also a, 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 a bit of a stretching, you know. You stretch so much, you know, when you, when you, 
you have no you give yourself no out it's it's almost like going and running 10 10 miles or whatever you know for a runner uh for for me if i run a mile it'd be like oh my god i'm dying i have a friend who runs a uh, ironmans and and when he trains you know it's like just looking at him makes me tired and and every now and then he'll come here to my studio and look at me and he's like man i don't know how you do it i'm like i don't know how you run so many miles a day either i guess it's just a it's just a little uh little muscle i guess you know you start training it and before you know it He's invited me to to go run, and, I, and I've told him, uh, you know what, dude? If if I go run, uh, you're gonna paint, and we still haven't met in the middle. <laughs> I guess I guess running would would serve me well. <laughs> Maybe it'll serve me more than him painting. Who knows? Uh, Donna asks, can you do a canvas that is stretched on thicker frame and, oh yeah, that, that, that does not require a, a extra additional framing, yeah. Uh, usually those are, are very simple. Um, I just don't paint the sides. I just, you know, I, I, I don't do that. Like, uh, uh, I'll do like a, like a solid color here, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, what it's called, hugging the canvas with 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 the image i don't do that i just I, I don't like it i know some artists do it uh um i'm a bit more purist when it comes to that i, I feel like it looks more uh, uh what do you call it uh, like a like a canvas print like i have canvas prints you know they, they hug the sides but i i i've done those you know i i do them a lot uh they're called gallery gallery profile or the thicker ones are museum profile. It's about it's about an inch and a half thick. They look really nice. They stand bold on the on the wall. They look really cool. Uh, I really love them. I mean, I uh, anything to do with you know that kind of that kind of deal. I love doing. Absolutely. Let me know. You know, just DM me if if you want a a, a painting what size and, and what you're looking I'll be more than happy to work something out with you check it out guys I usually don't paint it slow but I you know I'm loving the love so I'm, I'm you know making it a bit more dramatic so here we go let's make some shadows But I really love that. I, I I love what when I started doing this video, I was I was talking to you guys about how um, some uh, some of the people that follow me and or that like my fan page, not follow me, but like my fan page on on Facebook, uh, just amazing. You know, I, I'm, I'm always in awe when I find this <laughs> very intellectual people. <laughs> But, you know, when they talk about artwork, it's like, oh man, now, now you made me feel bad when I talk about artwork because they, some of them are, 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 uh, are very much into it. And, and, and this woman always nails, um, I think she, she has some great insights, like, uh, like what I was saying earlier, calling, referring to, to abstract art as poetry and, and traditional uh, representational art as, as literature. I thought, man, like, how come I didn't think of that one? You know, I'm always thinking about stuff. How come? I, how come I didn't think of that one? <laughs> I'm always, I'm always coming up with crazy stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, 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 Salamasma. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Mari, I should not promote even more competition to win your auction work. It's so true. It's such a hit or miss. Uh, some people have asked me about, about why uh, some of my prices sometimes go really high and then sometimes go really low. And they're like, I don't know. I don't know how to gauge it. It's, 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 
I I think it has to do uh, a lot of it. I know I know this wasn't your question, but I just wanted to uh, dig in a little bit in there. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with if you're like. First of all, it has to do with how many people are watching, right? But uh, aside from that, I think that that you have to be very famous or have a you know have a strong following for people to to kind of consistently have certain prices. My prices really. I mean, if you guys are looking for for a bargain, <laughs> the, the auctions. I never know what to expect. I keep doing them though because I think it gives it gives everyone a, a fair chance to to win something, you know, to 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 win to win a painting. But I have no idea. Sometimes I get gallery pricing, like I get I get the gallery pricing, and and uh, and uh, and sometimes I I just. Uh, I go buy a con Dios, I give it away. <laughs> I never know. <laughs> but I think it's cool, you know. I mean, I always thought that it's it would be so cool to kind of uh, uh, put all my artwork. You know, I, I saw I saw people putting some art on eBay. I saw artists putting some art uh, and. And I remember reading about how Picasso said, you know what? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta just, you gotta just show your artwork. Just, just let him have it. I remember him saying something like that, like, to a photographer friend. I remember reading that. He's like, don't worry about price. Just, you know, just let it go. He's like, because you're, you're learning, you're, you're, you're stretching. I think many of us uh, learn how to paint or, or become a bit uh, prolific in painting or, or, or you, you get good at it, right? You get good at it, whatever that is, right, for you. And and we covet them so much, and we're like, oh no, I don't want to let it go. But one of the things that I that has, that that I feel like I've been blessed on eBay and other platforms online too, is that is that I just let it go, and it just it's it's kind of like filling myself up, and then and then pouring everything and refilling myself. I just come up with all this new ideas because I end up with no work. So I don't have work around. See, I've been painting for over 20 years and and the first 10 years, I was just hauling work around. I was just like, I had a studio downtown here in, in uh, Tucson, Arizona. And I would just, you know, move from apartment to apartment, from studio to studio, uh, and, and kind of hauling the same, you know, 30, 50 paintings around. And reworking them and you know kind of like that that, that most artists work that way the moment that you started letting them go It was like it was like I was just learning new stuff every day And that's how that's that's been my approach ever since just kind of letting it go. You know people ask me uh, uh, Like uh, Why why is it that I create artwork so much is because I, I I let it go so easily and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing. I've been told thousands of times that I am crazy, that I'm doing the wrong thing. But I don't know, I, I, I paint, I paint full-time. Uh, I support my family with this and it's been working. It's been working for me. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't know when asked me this, but this is something I, I like to share with artists. Just let it go, try that, I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not saying give it away, I'm saying like, like just, you know, leave the studio. Let it leave the studio. It's a. Uh, it was. It was a game changer for me. I'm not. I'm not at all suggesting that you should give it away. That's. That's not what I'm saying. But let it leave the studio because many times, many, what I found that I used to do was put really high prices, and I'm not talking about like good, healthy prices, whatever that is, right? Because we'll we'll do different things. But for example, I was I was starting to create artwork in my studio. And, and, uh, I have, I only had like, I don't know, like less than a hundred paintings and each painting was priced at like $7,000. So clearly I didn't want to let it go. You know, I just didn't want to let it go. Uh, Maddie's artwork by Maddie says, great stuff. I love collecting your work. Thank you for offering your stuff at such crazy good price. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> so... I mean, that's just kind of how, you know, I, I, I got started. And of course, I get interior designers and I get gallery owners who, who want uh, 
uh, larger pieces and, and, and just, you know, specific pieces. And those, of course, are, are priced differently. But, uh, but it's good. It's good. I, 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 for me, just letting it go, it's such a, it was such a free, freeing experience. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with my crazy stuff. But let me show you the painting. Vámonos. Uh, Sierra Simmons Gallery asks for being an artist, for being artist, oh, for a beginning artist, I'm sorry about that. For a beginning artist, what would be a first step to getting your stuff out there? Look, Sierra, what I would do is find a platform that already has traffic. That's what I would do. Like, one of the first things that we start doing as artists is that we want to reinvent the wheel. Don't do that. It's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying we shouldn't be uh, uh, ad adventurous. You know, that's great. But find something that where people are already there. You know, people are already like Instagram. People are already here. You know, share my artwork. You know, I show the process, how I paint it. You know, maybe I'll show it to a few thousand people, and maybe one person's like, "Hey, I like what you're doing. Let me go check out what you, you know, what you sell." I don't know. I have no idea about that. I, I, this, this, I really. Uh, oh yeah, Sachi's really good. Yeah, I, 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 I've heard some great stuff. You know what? I barely made a, a profile there. Uh, I've been lazy with it, but uh, I, I know that artists uh, sell uh, great work there. They, got, I mean, at, at very healthy prices. And that's really, yeah. I, I think Mari's is, is on point. Sachi is a great place. Uh, the reason why I do eBay is because I couldn't I couldn't wait. I was like, what do I do with all this work? I had just closed a boutique shop with my wife. And uh and I was like, what do I do? I don't know what to do with all these paintings. Like I'm not gonna throw them away. I don't have any place to put them. You know, I was kind of giving up on the whole thing. Uh not not painting, but just you know, pursuing artwork. And then I just started just letting them go. That's, you know, just letting them go on, on Etsy, letting them go on, 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 on Facebook, on eBay, uh, you know, and, and I would, I would just find a platform, any platform where there's already people and start engaging right there. Like don't, like one of the very first things, you know, like I said, one of the first problems, the <laughs> challenges, let's call it that for me, it was a problem, but let's call it challenges is that. I did what every artist wanted to do. The very first thing we do is we want to go build a website. And I don't think that's the best approach to do unless you have a huge budget for, for ads. Uh, thank you so much, Mari. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sorry I'm talking business here, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's part of the whole thing. <laughs> the same thing. Uh, one of the very first things I, I did was open my website and then kind of like... Think about the idea that if you build it, they'll come. And you know what? It didn't happen like that for me. People weren't coming. No, no one was showing up. And I, I learned that the hard way. And then I made the same mistake over and over, thinking that if I tweak this, if I tweak that, maybe if I change my artwork. Let me tell you first, guys, it's not your artwork, okay? It, it's never the artwork. It really has everything to do with hustle muscle. It has nothing to do with your artwork. Doesn't mean you should you shouldn't you shouldn't try your best because in the long run, it will matter, you know, spiritually especially, you know that you're that you're giving it your best, but it's not that. At the end of the day, what it is is that is that you you connect with a community that that likes what you're doing and that shares it and that talks about it and engages with it, and uh, you know, and then they just you know maybe one. Tell someone, you know, and then they buy something and, and, and then it just starts rolling. The more you do, the more, you know, one of the things that I've been learning is the more you do, the more you can do. So, so start saying yes to everything. It's very difficult. It's a difficult concept because in, in art, we, we tend to, to guard ourselves, you know, and, and, and it's me and my artwork. It's a very solitary um, experience being an artist, but... If you just start saying yes to everything, you know, like like people telling you, 
oh, uh, we're having a show here, and you don't think it's a great show? It doesn't matter. Go, go anyways. Go, go rub some shoulders, shake some hands, take a painting. It really just has to do with connecting with people. I mean, everything is about that. And, and in artwork, that's what I would recommend, 100%. No, no doubt in my mind, go to a place where people are already talking and engaging. And don't lead with your artwork. I wouldn't lead with artwork. What I mean by that is, is don't be like, bye, 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 bye. Here it is. Bye, 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 bye. Um, <clears throat> not because of, of how you're going to be perceived. I don't care about how I'm perceived. Um, it's, really, it's really because it's not the best approach. Like people are not going to automatically start paying attention to you. I, I know I'm, I'm taking it far here, guys, but, but I know maybe one or two may benefit from, 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 from this uh, little insight. Um, don't lead with the artwork. Lead with, uh, with interaction. Interact with people. Like here, I'm not telling you guys, bye, 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 my painting. No, I'm showing you, I'm showing you, uh, you know, me painting. That's, that's interaction. And, and, you know, if, if someone's like, oh, I love what you do. Uh, let, me, uh, let me see what you sell on eBay. Cool. You know, you can click on it, whatever. But I'm not leading with that. And some people don't like that. Some people are like, oh, no, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> I, you know, people that don't like what you're doing, they're never going to buy from you anyways. So I just, I brush them off. People that like, that like what you do, they don't have to buy, but, but they like what you do. And, and, you know, they'll tell someone else and blah, blah, blah. And before you know it, you have a, a group of people that enjoy what you're doing. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys to death. I hope uh, this was helpful, Sierra. Uh, thank you so much, Mari. And here are some colors, okay? Uh, here's, here's the palette. Look how juicy this thing is. Mum, 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 yum, 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 yum. <laughs> this is juicy. Okay, so I ran out of white. But there's the blue. There's viridian. You can use here, you don't have to use uh, viridian. If you don't have it, or if you don't like it, you can use phthalo. I mean, you can use whatever you want, right? But I love using phthalos. Phthalo blue, phthalo green, or viridian. Viridian is a bit more expensive, so you can buy the hue or you can buy the viridian if you want, whatever. Uh, I go for the little bit more expensive colors just because they're, they're more pigmented. Okay, so think about pigmentation. That's really what matters when it's... You know, for those of you who don't know, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Those of you who know, you know already, so no need to get offended. <laughs> There's a cadmium red. Bam! Look at that. Fire. Muy macho. Purple. Magenta. And black. This could be Mars or Lap Black. I used to not use black. I, I think I've said this before. Because I, I thought of myself as an impressionist. Who was going after the... The, who was going against the grain of the realist movement led, led by Corbet. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I read too many Impressionist books. <laughs> now I paint whatever. I like the Picasso approach. I know I don't paint like him, but I love his muscle hustle. Uh, he used to say, if I don't have one color, I'll use another one. That's exactly how I feel. I don't marry any colors. You guys see me use this ones? Maybe in a few months I'm not gonna use it. I don't know, I don't marry the color. I don't, I just don't. I, I, I use it, abuse it, and throw it away, and then go get something new. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Manuel. <laughs> get some sleep. You're going to need it. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. And uh, be cool, okay? Be kind. That's my message. Be kind. And forget about the whole thing. Be kind to others. No, 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 no. Forget about that. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. That's, I think that, that matters more in the beginning. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.